we are going to make something to organize our wrapping paper. It's going to be quick, it's going to be easy, and it's going to be affordable. So come check it out with me. Here we go, guys. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Come check out today's project. Don't forget, I try and link everything I used in the description box below. If I can't link what I used exactly, I'll link something as close as I can get. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my previous videos and let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, here we go, guys. Well, I don't know about you guys, but after the holidays, I'm always left with this huge mess of wrapping paper and bows, tags, and tape. So today, we're going to organize it all, and I'm going to show you how I keep mine neat and tidy until the next year, or at least the next time I need to use it. So to start this project, we're just going to use a shoe organizer. I chose this one that goes over the door, and this one is a canvas. I liked that it was a canvas because it's a little heavier material, and then I also liked that it had these clear pouches because you'll be able to see through them a little bit easier, obviously. Another part that I liked about it is at the very bottom, and I'll show you in more detail, but it has this little pocket-like. All right, let's get started. So before I do any cutting, I like to lay the roll out just so I can see how long it is. And I personally don't like when the entire roll is covered. So I do like it to be able to stick out a little bit just because it's easier to grab a hold of and take out later on. This one's gonna get cut either way because no roll is gonna be this small. So that one's now completely open. That means when I slide this piece of wrapping paper through, it'll be able to slide right down to the second pocket. And what's also great is it creates a little extra room. You can fit more than one roll in there. Easy peasy. I'm going to cut all of these so that it can go down to the second pocket. When I'm doing the cutting, I like to cut the edges first and then go in because I feel like I can get a lot closer to that seam. And I like to have it as close to that seam as possible so it's not as noticeable. And it also gives me a straight line to follow. Voila! So that's what I do for the wrapping portion, or the wrapping paper portion. And I'm not going to lie, this gets really heavy. Now I have a few more pockets here. I have some small ones, I have a couple big ones, and then I have this one canvas covered one at the bottom. So what I like to do with these smaller ones is I like to put any pens or anything that I use. And that way they're really easy to access and see and I know what's in there. Tape is always extremely necessary when wrapping presents. And then I like to add little dangly pieces just because I have kids that really love the jingle bells and stuff like that. So in this one I'm going to add these bigger rolls of ribbon and then at the very bottom I like to put my scissors because that is where they are going to be seen. That is how I like to organize my wrapping paper organizer. So here's the finished project if you want those rolls sticking up. The only thing I do need to mention is that since they are up a little bit further then it is going to kind of hang over the door. So this is great if you want it on the back of a craft room door or something like that where it's going to be open. But if you want it in a closet or something, you're going to need to make sure that these come down a little farther, obviously. So I'm going to switch up where I keep mine so that we can go ahead and trim this down. And you can see how to do it if you want it inside a closet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the wrapping paper and we're going to cut this one just like we did this. So here's the part I don't like. And that is that it is now completely covered and it's kind of hard to get into when I'm going to want it. So I'm going to trim right here so that this is still going to hold it and obviously it's still going to be held by the second two, but I'm going to have easy access to pull it out and I'm not going to have this piece in my way. And I'm going to do that to all four of the top ones. Voila! So here we go, we have just the top parts as well as the plastic parts and we're just going to slide our rolls back in. Now you can see that it hangs below the top. So this can hang on a closet or anything like that rather than just on the craft room door. Since these bottom pockets are still a lot bigger than these ones were, it still gives us a lot of room to work with. Voila! 
that's how you do it if you want it inside a closet. So now let my husband and I get it hung up and I'll take a final look with you. All right guys, here it is. And although this is the first time I've had it in my closet, I'm already loving it. I'll be using it next year to wrap all the presents and it'll be upstairs nice and ready to be used. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. Let me know if this is how you store yours or how you store wrapping paper and all the gadgets that are needed to wrap Christmas presents every year. Until next time, bye bye